Good evening! Welcome to a very special night of mystique. I am Crasher of Mans, and today I am joined by a big-brained puny who wrote a book about me, and he wants me to read it to you. Let us begin. A book by Big Brained Puny. Big Brained Puny has a big head to fit his big brain, and big heads are easy to grab! This was a good book. <clears throat> Anyways, thanks to Jordan C, Chivalry E, and Griffin P today. That's actually not right. It's Griffin P W, but it rhymed until we added the W in. Anyways, also, if your name is on the screen right now, and you're not seeing this, whatever the hell it is, then you've got yourself a key for the Battle Brothers soundtrack. Uh, let me know on the Discord, and I'll send it to you there. Also, there's a Discord. You should go there, because Amit is Discord Captain Cheerleader, and... He extends a very special... Oh, no dot! Yes! Come on! Interrupt once again, right during my outro! What was I saying? Oh yes, Abbott wants you to go to the Discord. Intro over. This <laughs> is so dopey cats. <gasps> Alright, boys, it's that time. Noble war time. I thought about what we're going to do uh, before I started this episode for a little bit, and there's actually quite a few things. So first of all, we have wounds for negative 35 hit points on Gage and also on Gene. So we have to go straight to Hammerstead and heal those off immediately. Uh, we can sell off some stuff and see if we can upgrade armors and this and that or the other thing, but a couple of things we can do right now. Uh, we can give Gage a heater rather than this little dopey bopey over there. He's got uh, bags and belts, so it doesn't weigh anything regardless, just as like a backup. Uh, next up, I wanted to give this hide and bone armor with the uh, attachment to someone. I'm going to say probably Brian M. There we go. And I think that's uh, really all there is to do in the current inventory. I'll think about moving around the gear and whatnot, but first we need to go check all of the towns to see um, which things we're going to buy. Well, if there's anything to buy, first of all, and which things we're going to buy. I'd like to upgrade as much as possible before we go fight this... Um, this giant battle. It shouldn't be... I don't think it's going to be that hard, but you never know. I mean, it all comes down to RNG, so... It's not a three-skull one, just a two-skull one, so... Looks like we done see a nothing, nothing, and... A famed, venerable skin. We could buy it, but honestly, I'm not too interested. This kettle hat with mail is a little too weak. I like the butter helms, but they're a little too weak. Uh, 265 helms, eh. I'm not, like, super sold on it, to be entirely honest. I'm not seeing anything here except maybe the leather neck guard. We'll yoink that, and that's it. All right, let's move on. First, actually, let's sell everything here because this is where we're going to get most of our money. Beautiful. 479 salts. Yoink, yoink, yoink. All right, let's sell the spear, all this stuff. We're not going to use this heavy crossbow. I didn't mean to sell that one there. I wanted to keep it, actually, until it was completely repaired. We don't need these guys. And some of these things we could repair for slightly more money, but I'm okay with it as it is. Look at the money, friends. I guess we'll keep the blue shields. I think they look really stupid, but whatever. I'll keep them anyway. And I think we're not actually going to end up using these uh, metal helms, so we'll get rid of those guys. We really don't need two of these decayed coats anymore, or two of these. Sell one of them. Awesome. Get rid of that, and this guy can probably toodle as well. And we'll just keep... Uh, you know what? Even just one of these is more than enough. So there we go. We get one heavy suit in case we need it for like a backup or repairs. We're now at 10,000 gold. And we have javelins for 100 years. We could even make 11,000 if I wanted to sell my ancient wood, which I don't. Let's yoink this. And that's about it. Okay, let's check for hunters. I think I already did, but then I forgot about it. Yeah, no hunters here. Let's head down to Hammer Aden. And then up to Gemmenberg and see what we can find for fi Oh, never mind, the temple. We'll hit the temple, we'll pay for those two wounds, then we'll head to Hammerden.
Wow, that's expensive. <laughs> 450 and 200. So hopefully they're both gone tomorrow. Because I really don't want to fight the battle at uh, less hit points. This one's on gauge. It's going to be one to three days, actually. And this one over here, it looks like it's going to heal by tomorrow. Well, okay. Uh, might have to put gauge in the back line then and rotate him in when it's time. What do we have in Hamaraden? Any hunters? Nope. Any armor? Ah, actually, yes. So, a couple of interesting things here. First, we have the leather neck guard. How many of these guys do we need? I know we could put one on Gage's armor. We're going to delete it later, whatever we do put on. Um, we have another one we can put on, actually, over here on Victor, and we did buy one. So, we could buy one more for our lawsuit and Nimble, so we'll just buy it right now. We have a beautiful butter salad helmet. And I, you know, I like it a lot, honestly, for 1441. It's an upgrade for someone for sure. It's the perfect nimble helm for a lot of people. Although I prefer the barter boots, but they're pretty rare. Kettle hat with closed mail. 250 for 17. That's a pretty good upgrade for someone. But you know what? We should go check the other town just in case. I think I'm going to buy the salad, though. It's unlikely we're going to find something for 10,000 over there that I want. And we're going to need multiple upgrades anyway, so looks good. Let's go hit up the Gemmenberg, see what we've got. There we go. The Fletcher has nothing. The Armorer has some plates. Ooh, they got a Butter Bar Boot, friends! A Butter Bar Boot! I have to buy it just so I can say Butter Bar Boot. Oh my god. Uh, okay, let's check the weapons just in case there's any, like, fame monstrosities we'd want to spend all our money on. Nope. Ooh, there's a button. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, we gotta buy the Butter Bar to Boot. 3600 It's expensive, but it's a Butter Bar Boot. My god. They also have paint here, actually, as well. In Butter Helm colors, which would be fantastic. So let's grab some tools from here. One, two, at the very least. Uh, a couple of arrows, even. Oh, more paint for 133 uh, we don't really need the food. All right, if we want to actually go full... We could go full organized here. So Jean's wound healed. However, Gage's wound did not. It's now one to two days. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's give both of our nimble guys their nimble armor. In fact, you know what? Gage being on the front line, he's going to get the butter butter boot, I reckon, because he's actually at negative eight over here. That's going to put him at, I think, a grand total of 17 fatigue giving him 58% damage reduction. But he's got 190 helm, and he's got a 195 chest. That is godly. Amazing. Let's give Gene the machine the full butter garb. Beautiful. Uh, and then lastly, I suppose Mark R will give... You know what? Let's check Gene on the salad. Nah, he doesn't look as cool, I think. Let's give him the butter helm, and then Mark R can have the butter, butter bar boot. Or, uh, sorry, the butter um, salad, rather. God, so many weird things. Now then, Brian M. actually can get the full nimble, as can Victor I. Awesome. This is looking sweetly deedly, friends. We got some upgrades here and there. Uh, you know what I was also thinking is that Markar should really equip a shield here. I think, because he's probably not going to use the ancient bladed pike at all with all of these throwing axes in this battle. And if that's the case, I want to give him just, I guess, any old one. This one looks fine. Awesome. Hate that hideous blue color, but alas. Tis what it tis, as they say. Uh, lastly, let's put Victor's... That just looks, like, really awkward. <laughs> it just doesn't go, to be honest. It's the only... Well, it goes better over here, but it makes no sense on this, I think, anyway. Uh, and now, lastly, we have the heraldic shoulder plates. So... My thinking there is the best thing we're going to keep for a while is going to be the reinforced male halberd. Let's put it on that. And because Logan doesn't have battle forged and Ozark has the light scale, I say we done swap them. How about you guys? There we go. Ozark's at 78. And Logan's now at 60. Okay. The only thing that I don't like about this is Gage has 33 hit points. I actually really don't like that. Um... Here's what we're going to do about it. 
We're going to have to rotate Gage out. Do something like that and have Gage, like, here, I guess? I don't know. I hope maybe we can just delay a day and heal up, but I'm not sure. Oh, hey, do we want to buy? Yes, we do. 100%. If we're going to go into this battle, we're going to go into it in style, friends. I'm going to waste a ton of money here on nonsense vanity. Just so we could look super freaking cool. Who wants a butter helm, eh? Well, first of all, me and Ozark. Yoink! Woo! And yoink! That's looking fancy, Freds. That's looking very fancy. That was a complete waste of money. But God, is it fancy. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Actually, no, we can wait. Not until um, dawn, but I think noon is when the wound can go away. Wait in the water camp until your services are called upon. Well, if I don't go to the water camp, can I just wander around in circles and heal? I've never actually tried to do that before. I guess we'll find out, right? Well, I don't think the quest will fail. Ooh, we can buy the salts and go trade them in while we're waiting. And max roll or max uh, stack on tools. All right. Go over here in Solomon Hammerstead. And there we go. Afternoon. Yes! Gage is indeed done. You know what? Let's come down here. Should I attack them during the night time? I don't know. It kind of depends on the RNG of what we get. Onwards, brothers! There's a battle to be won! Uh... A few water dogs, a few knights, a few sergeants, a few standard bearers, many arbalesters, some billmen, lots of footmen. Woo! Okay. That's a little bit more than I was expecting. And we have a hound. We have, ooh, we have a great or heavy crossbow and a regular crossbow. Oh, poor Pop Dung got wrecked, boys. Looks like it was 26, to, woo, nice shooting, Tex. I think it was 26 to 26. I think we have another dog up there that they're trying to shoot at, because that's where all those arrows were going. My god, why are these- why- what are you- what kind of sergeant charges out to his immediate panic? <laughs> oh my god. Well, this isn't going to plan. <laughs> it's so, oh my god. Can I toot and have it affect him? I'm gonna have to try, right? That is so ridiculous. Okay, so normally what I would do is I would buy some time and see where I want to go. But with this guy panicking out here and him being a sergeant, it's I kind of want to save him as much as possible. We could rotate, rotate. I could move forward and attack. 43. I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what happens on pretty much everyone. Although I would really like this guy. We could also move up and rotate rather than toot and pull Ozark up if we wanted to. Because right now he can't go into that spot. And I might want him to be there. And Sir Sirius can do the same thing. Rotate, rotate. And I'm up here now. So I think that's, um, I think that's what we're going to commit to. Pike, Pike, these are lame, lame guys. I'm not too concerned about them at all. Awesome. Uh, Gage. He could move here and get rotated and attack that guy once if we really wanted to. I don't see anything else that he could do that would be helpful this turn. Okay, let's see what the rest of these guys do. They're probably going to charge like maniacs. And cut off my ability to get up there. Ooh, we have another uh, heavy crossbow. That's pretty sweet. Ooh, I think they're making a mistake. They are underestimating, friends. Boy, are they ever underestimating. So here's what we do. We're going to rotate with this footman. Rotate here with Gage. Beautiful hobo. And then move up on the line. Oh, hey, Sir Eckhart. Sup? 
How's it going, buddy? Yeah, well, if I wait, I feel like this guy's going to mess something up somehow for us. Let's go for it, friends. Go for it, friends. 85, probably 100. Woo, nice work, Ozark. Logan could actually move up and rotate if we didn't want to risk taking a shot anywhere, but honestly, you know if it matters. Okay, I'm going to move Logan here for now. Imperial's in an interesting position. I think I'm just going to hang out. I don't want to move at all. I want to get rotated by Sir Sirius. Then I want to get rotated again by Logan. Then I want to move over here and smashy bashy. Meanwhile, I really like this opportunity, although that kill means Ozark won't get Frenzy. However, it's probably potentially worth it. It's that or we take an 81 down here. We'll do that to rip off the armor for Gage. Not that that's going to help us too much. Rotate over here for me. Fantastic. Oh, you f Why is the standard bearer running into the front line like an idiot? Ah, standard bearers are so dumb. Wow, Gene. Or, uh, Victor, rather. Good job. All right, boys. Gage. Could you, could you, do you think, guys, that Gage could off his head even with full health armor? I don't know. I doubt it, but let's find out. 95%! Nope, not even halfway. Okay, we can disarm. Or, check this out, 80%. <laughs> check this out! Uh, I want it to rotate me. If I rotate me... This guy seriously messed everything up. Why? Why would the standard bearer... Why would he do that? That is literally the dumbest thing I've ever seen. All right, I'm still going to rotate me, I think. So Logan's not going to do anything else useful this turn. I'm not going to go up there. Nope. Same deal for Puriel. I don't think we're going to do anything over here, necessarily. We could move over here and, like, speeder wall in case these guys want to come over. There's a sergeant. Um, one thing I could do is prepare her to get rotated in next turn somehow. Though that would have to... I don't know how exactly that would happen. I think I would have to move out and risk getting hit this turn. Oh, I, I see. I can rotate, rotate right there. So you know what? Let's pop the mushroom. You have to do it out of melee, which is why I'm using it now. So I'm going to lose the one turn at 40%, but there's really no other option. I actually could have rotated twice right there if I really wanted to, but do it next turn. Mark Carter got hit with a 66. Ooh, nice shot on our heavy crossbow versus their crossbow. Glaive is coming up. Why would you rotate? Okay, I guess. Woo, nice work, boys! What? Muriel, they have a heavy crossbow. Evasive maneuvers. Wow, that guy is getting wrecked. Why are they running? A well, I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's actually good for us. Okay, I guess it's a good thing that guy went up there since that was going to happen. Poor Sergeant's just using his nimble damage tanking, I suppose. My god, Ozark is going to... It's a bloodbath if Ozark ever gets to go. And he's going to get to go. And it's going to be a bloodbath, guys. Poor Sergeant. It's going to be a bloodbath. What can Victor do? Just huck a random thing out here and see what happens? 
Uh, Gage, if you'd be so kind. All right, that's enough for Ozark, guaranteed. Oh my god, is this going to be brutal. So Lord Sir Emmerich gets to go. Followed by Bill Hook down here, maybe? Right there. Oh, he ran away. However, this gives me an opportunity to get in there and be like, hey, buddy. Oh, no. I can move up with Logan. No, I can't do it. He doesn't have the fatigue to rotate twice. Uh, Sir Sirius. He would have 10. Oh, he'd be one fatigue. No, he'd have to move. So he'd be one fatigue plus a movement short. I was just thinking if I could if I could move here, rotate there, and rotate back, I'd be right here. Boom. Would that ever be glorious, huh? Unfortunately, I don't see that happening, so let's get my uh, rage to use, an 82%. That's right. Oh, Ozark! 60, 76, 36, crash! What? He missed the 60, hit the 76, and he actually did hit the 36 in the head, though. I was really expecting him to get a kill there, uh, and then get Frenzy, and then chop, but... Not everything, every time, huh? If I want the standard bitter to survive, I could move Logan up, but honestly, I'm not sure that's a smart idea. I think I might just... I think he ran up there maybe to, to toot this guy. Not that that makes any difference anymore for, for anyone. All right, Mark Otter, then we can take that guy down, no problem. 88, 39, 77. <laughs> No one else is going to get this kill. Let's yoink it. Awesome. Confidence for days. Yeah, we're going to let uh, other people deal with that heavy crossbow over there. Imperial toodaloo. Uh, it is true that Hobo could come over here, and he'd be in the midst of two bill hooks and a pike. But you know what? I think it's a good idea. And he's going to be really hard to hit. We could shield wall. Every one of them is going to go for him, except for ones that they kill this guy. They'll kill that guy, like, right away, though, I'm sure. You know what? I'm going to let leave these guys alone to go deal with all this nonsense. Actually, I'll leave Sir Sirius here doing nothing for a while. Seventy-one. Nope. Better idea. Disable Billhook 61. Nice. Gage, off with his head! Doesn't even need to, actually. Ah. Gene can move up and take... Oh, yeah. Yoink! Beautiful work, Gene. Okay, I'm a little bit sad, actually, that our super arbalester over here is not going to be able to do anything, so I'm going to move up and rotate to save him with Logan. I really want that guy doing some work. And that's how we're going to make it happen. I'm going to help my friends. Aww. Sergeant Dunn got tootled, friends. There. Aww. I saved you for a reason, not to take a 9%. What are you doing running into melee? Yeah, they're going to go right over Hobo. This guy's not, though. He's going to go for Hobo. That was actually a 46 on Hobo, somehow. Was not expecting a 46% roll there. So, I'm not seeing anything Victor can do that's super useful right here. Uh, so, let's come up here and toss over at Sir Eckhart 45. Eventually, we'll get one of those and get maybe some kind of wound. Beautiful work, boys. Ooh. That's actually really nice. Oh, he's 
just not going for me. He should have gone for me. He should have gone for me. That's right. Screaming in his ear. Till he just can't hear. That's my strategy. Now then. I could move Gage up here and be like, Sup, boy! Or even over there, but can we do some damage there first? Ozark goes in five turns. Maybe he can choppy. Gage could decapitate, which is another option. I like that option a little bit more. Um, so let's wait and see how this pans out. Ninety-three, sixty-one. Let's take the ninety-three. And I think I'm even gonna rotate. Yeah, I think I am. Gage can take this guy down by himself. So interestingly enough, Sir Sirius found himself up here to just be in board, and these guys are surrounding, so I think I'm going to come all the way up here and help out on this guy. Maybe we can actually deep some down. Meanwhile, Ozark only has, like, one attack, but you know what? One attack's all we need. 56! Whatever. Well, we could try to go here and attack twice. He risks getting hit by the sword guy, and his melee defense is not good, so let's not. We'll take the 56. Whoo! My god, Ozark ain't no joke, friend. Now, I've learned this before. Never have all your tanks commit to something. So we're gonna have Puriel, I think, come over here. Uh, also away from this guy, as far as possible. This way we have a backup tank in the area. Logan Stabbies. Mark R. 60%. Whoo! My god, does he hit like a truck! If Hobo shield walls, this guy's gonna do stuff. 95, 95. Who do we take down first? Probably. Billhook guy. Beautiful Hobo. Uh, you know what? If Brian can do this. Oh, it hits the head. Now then, Gage! 82. Oh, he hit the head. Woo! He hit the head again! <laughs> All right. Well then, I done reckon they be dead. Woo! We are cruising. Wow, double overwhelm on our Arbalaster. Too bad. This is the scary one. Okay, I don't know who he shot at. A uh, me, actually. Oh! Poor Arbalester. That was a big hit right there. Wow! Break on the shield. Why did you move there instead of shooting this guy or that guy? Nice work, boys! Hobo tanking like a champ. Here's a bill hook on his face. Nope, actually on that guy. <laughs> More punches in the hobo. Oh no, Fred, Sir Eberex almost dead. All right, 29 over here. I'm not a huge fan. There's really no place to put Victor, unfortunately. Just the lines are too full. So, here's what we do instead. We try to hit some crossbow, crossbowmen. Well, the closer that we go, the more damage. We'll take the 229s. Woo! Okay. Not bad. Now then, friends, you done made a mistake! Okay. I really want to kill that one. I want to move down here and disable that one. So we'll wait a second. Gene can't rotate. So we don't have that. We don't... Well, Puriel could. Puriel could 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, rotate. Or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, rotate. And then we, like, slice, slice. That is definitely something to do. Or I make a move. I'm not going to make a move. We'll wait and we'll rotate to the front with Gage.
But now, though, we move up and stand, because we're out of fatigue. What oh, shield better is getting clobbered. All right, boys. Ooh, it's Ozark's turn. I don't think we can get a kill, technically. If we rotate in, we could soften the guy and then go through both and get the kill and then come over here with a big choppy, which would be amazing. So we're going to do all of those things. Piro's going to charge up here, rotate back here for Gage, Los Fantasticos. It's time for Sirius to get serious. 63. Same deal, Logan. 62s. Oh, well. I guess that guy, even when he can't freaking think, is just having a good time. Having a good time. Having a good time. Anyways. What the heck do I do with Mark? All right, I wish this guy would just tootle already. Run away. You know what? That's actually... No, he's not going to tootle. Well, Gene can move out of the way and we can move up is what could have happened if I thought it through better. I'm actually going to have Hobo attack, even though he's getting hit by these billhook guys, theoretically. I want him to... Oh, so close. So we have two options with Brian. We can whip this one to death at a 68. If we don't hit... I think we should try it. Oh, yes! Good job, Brian. Good job. Hey, Gage, how's it going? Off with his head! Actually, don't kill him. Damn it! <laughs> Gage, I gave you one instruction. One instruction. It was not to kill him. That's all I need. We'll move over here with Gene so that next turn we can attack this guy. Now we don't have the incredible Ozark doing Ozark things. Well, he can still do things. It's not incredible Ozark things is all. Marikar, if you'd be so kind. Whew. That poor man. All right, now the AI gets to take a turn. They're overwhelming me, guys. I love that that Arbalester just double moved. Huge. Huge. Woo! Big hits up there. Okay. Well, Axe and Nine turns. Sir Eckhart is a 25%. He's in the shield wall, which is super, super frustrating. Or we can move up and take one attack on this guy for our softening. I suppose that might be a slightly better idea. Or over there, 57. Casual victor cross map. Wow. Was that a smart move? I guess. God, I really, really wish they would move their standard better, seriously. So, we have a 48, and he's got a repost. Hmm. Not much else. Well, I can at least kill the other guy, right? Oh, hit him anyway, because why not? Gosh! Oh, I missed the 57. Let's come down here with Brian M. Yoink! Getting controlled. So Imperial has 16 plus 15 is 31 hit points, or 31 action points. It'll take 25, it takes six. Moving will take four and four. So unfortunately he can't move there and rotate. It'll be short by two points. Gene can't do it either, which means Gage is not moving this turn. Uh, it's not getting rotated this turn. Well, he could get rotated down. No, he can't even do that. So we just need to go and attack someone. I'm thinking the standard bearer, although that does put us in front of the arrows, but who cares? Probably not Gage. Then Ozark can move up. Clubby Bubby, fun times, especially if he gets a kill. He probably won't, but maybe. You never know. Actually, if we move, we'll have 13 points, and we take 12, which is exactly 100% perfect. Ah, I didn't realize that if we got attacked, we then wouldn't be if I, if I had thought it through more i thought even if we got attacked like we would have been able to pull it off but now realizing 
It's the attack that applies the fatigue, not being hit. So never mind. I messed that up. Hit or miss, we wouldn't have been able to do that. Hit or miss, friends. All right, Ozark. Uh, good luck. Pretty sweet. We are handedly crashing. I'm a little bit scared about this sergeant with that there axe. He's going to go after the Arbalester for sure. So now's our chance to kill this guy and break his morale. Okay, Mark Otter. No more standard better. Thank you. God, Mark Otter is a beast. Uh, I don't think I dare move Puriel down there with... I wanted to, but with 36 hit points, let's just run out in the back and hide behind the bush. <laughs> Alright, and that looks like everything. They just, they just can't kill this guy. It's insane. I didn't see what footman... Oh, this guy panicked. I didn't see what footman died, though. You ah! Well, that was a one-shot on the poor archer. <laughs> Must have hit him in the head, I guess. I don't know. Ah! No! Our little friend always survived this whole time, friends. We won't let him die. Victor, 79! 79! Bloody hell. 79 is not 95. I wanted that loot. Okay, this time I've learned we're not going to be able to do the thing, plus we don't need to anyway. Beautiful. Nice! I like that they knock. Well, not really. I mean, sort of. He's surrounded by four guys. Gage, come on. 87. You know what? Kind of want to move Ozak over here and start mur murdering these guys. Yeah. So let's take one single attack. This guy could literally get whipped to death. Which would be amazing. Mm. Yeah! He's fighting back, friends! That footman will never die! I should have stolen that kill. Or just kept the kill, or just taken it for myself, or whatever you want to say. 67 on Sir Eckhart. Sir Eckhart, your time has come, friend. I am sorry to report. Thank you! Come again. He didn't drop his helmet, unfortunately. That is very unfortunate. No chance I can get rotated, so... Ozark, the Goliath. Uh, honestly, this guy's way more dangerous and way easier to hit. We could go for both. 73, 54. I don't think so. I would rather take the 78 for the plus with the plus 20 damage. Beautiful. Okay, Puriel, you're gonna save this boy. We will not let him die. Of course, we also won't kill the guy, but, you know. That sergeant's being a real pain. Mark Otter has two options. One up, and one is to come down here and take this one down before Peter gets hit even more and then randomly murdered. So that's what I'm going to do. Sir Emmerich's probably going to be fine. One shot down here. Oh, well. I think it was sound, even if it didn't work out. There it is. I don't think this guy can Peter. Yeah, he can't even come close. Awesome. Ooh, and Gene can get into melee range on the hunter. Ooh, oh, Puro can't move. 
All right, let's see. I don't think anything bad's gonna happen here. Uh. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Okay, uh, I guess they're just not gonna miss. I don't know if I'd call that something bad, per se. Ooh, someone's got executioner and someone's got a wound. Uh, he's got two wounds. Wow, my god. They've literally hit everything. Yoink! Good job, Brian M. Do the one thing we needed you to do. My god, that tier 3 axe is just unacceptably painful. 87% gauge! Off with his head! We can't even move, he's so fatigued now. Meanwhile, someone's wounded, friends! Is this guy wounded? No, is this guy wounded? Hell yeah! Into the ground! They're going! It's hard to even see where they are. Why do I care about that loot? I don't even know what he has. It's too late now. I'm not going to switch or anything. Just take the 75. There it is. Hopefully we can yoink the kill, but who knows. Ozark, please learn this guy a lesson. The lesson is you're about to get wrecked, aren't you? Uh... Okay. Let's move over here for two reasons. One, Monarchar can provide some cover to gauge against this heavy Arbalester. And two, we can do that. Please don't steal my kill. We are winning. But we haven't won. Yes, the footman lives! Gene can't move. If he could move, I would move. I'm a little bit worried about this guy being confident on the hill. It's a 73 to hit Ozark. It's, he's going to go. And it's, okay, nice. He's running. They're running. Just avoid this maneuver. Oh, okay, beautiful work, Mark Garden. Using your noggin and nimble. Be look at friends. That right there. It's the butter salad saving the day. Although we really honestly didn't need it to save the day, but whatever. Now. This guy goes in 10 turns, we go in 11, we go in 13. Our only chance to get that kill is to go over him and pray for incredible luck. Oh, literally, the only chance. Ah! Incredible luck, friends! Oh, well, we wouldn't have got it anyway. I tried. Gene, this is really bad. Like, stop. The guy's got a Scramasax, that's no joke. Uh, we can't move and attack, so we'll just hang out a little bit. A little recover. <laughs> Alright, Ozark. About time. Wow! So, we, uh, we lost nobody. Green guys barely lost anyone. We did keep little footman Bill alive, friends. He's alive. <laughs> I don't know how, but he's alive. Amazing. I don't even have anything to do. I'm just running around bored. Easy game. The noble war was a bore. No one could have predicted it. Oh my god, footman Bill, don't get yourself killed for nothing. Footman Bill! Maybe I could save him with careful rotates next turn. My god, Footman Bill, that is not the thing. Don't get yourself killed to an archer in the last second, Footman Bill. Please. Please don't do it. Ah! <laughs> Footman Bill! <laughs> you stupid moron! We tried so hard. We tried so hard to keep Footman Bill alive, friends. So frigging hard. At the end of the day, an archer murders him. My god. Unacceptable. Although, to be fair, Gene missing twice with the 73s is what really got Footman Bill killed. 
Can someone just give me Ozark, please? Oh! They yoinked the last kill. All right, well, it's a done. Let's see what the results are. Gage got a level. We only got 200 to 400 experience for that. Well, I guess 500 on Mark R. It seems really low for the difficulty. Uh, we picked up... Oh, we did get the helm. We got the full helm. 300 armor, negative 20. I checked the ground and I didn't see it. But I don't know how we got that. We also got not one, not two, but three flat tops with mail. So 230 for 15. Those will probably be... Decent upgrades. We got a billion jillion more shields if we needed them. We got a noble sword that we don't need, and we got three pikes. You know, considering all the guys they had and all the gear they had, I mean, we had to wreck all the armor and there was no time for farming. Hey, just having the full helm alone is something at least. The battle is over. You find Sir Emmerich roaring and ripping off his armor in Undershirt. Of course, the first thing the mans do is like, Toodles close! He shows off his wounds, flexing so they open a gape like seeping rinds of fleshly cut fruit. He demands his men to do the same. Of course! He's like, men! Off with their clothes! Turning each around so that he can see their back. Oh my god. <laughs> you see, good warriors like us carry our wounds here, here, and here. Hmm. The men cheer, though some are woozy on their feet. Your employer will surely be happy to hear the results here, and that's all you really care about. Vic! Tori, friends. Let's go turn this in. That was one hell of a battle. You gain 2,760 crowns. Wow. House Berengar is already in retreat. Crowns well deserved. Whew. A man surprises you by sliding into your shoulder. Let's talk business. The men are here, 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 and everywhere. I need you to patrol the territories to Hammerstead and then to Gemenberg. Kill anything or anyone that moves. That is exactly the kind of mission I want to do. Especially because there's that camp up there. Hammerstead, Gemenberg, Hammerden. Literally the best quest there could ever be in the universe. I kid you not. That is an incredible quest. Hey, so a couple of things I want to check out here before, before we're done. First and foremost, I think I'm going to do like almost no editing. Because that was a pretty interesting battle. House Berengar. We're still only barely open with these guys, which is just absolutely boggles my mind. Really surprised by that. Um, okay. I feel like I'm strong enough. Maybe I can give Ozark the full helm. So, 210-13. He's going to lose 7 fatigue. This is going to push him down to 71 fatigue. It's functional, but we're really going to need to take recover. I think I was going to take recover next anyway. If anyone can use it well, it's probably him or our tanks. Um, let's repair all these doohickeys because I think they're worth the sales. Beautiful. Beautiful. And that's about it. Ooh, Gene. Ooh, friends, Gene's level 11. I'm going to go for the fatigue. He's been pretty low, to be honest. Finally, we get the recover. I was originally going to take bags and belts with Gene, so we had someone in the back row with a bandage and a net. But he doesn't have quick hands, and not that he necessarily needs it. But I'm actually thinking of going Colossus instead, since he's so incredibly weak. So that'll bump him up to 91 hit points. He's got zero range defense, so that looks pretty good. I'm not sure where I'm going to get my bandages. I don't know. I really don't want to not have him as the thing. Gage, beautiful, beautiful, and a beautiful. Absolutely fantastic. In fact, whoa, was Gage healed before we went into the battle? I kind of forget. He shouldn't have been up there. Let's get back to our normal formation. With Gage here. It's something like this. How close are we with Logan M to Battle Forge? Like, literally a battle? How about... I'm trying to find... Oh, there he is. I couldn't find Sir Cedarius. He's completely camouflaged, guys. I can't find where he is. He's also about 1 to 1.2 battles. Once they get to Battle Forge, I will feel so much more safe. 
Once Victor gets the duelist, we need to go farm some barbarians and get some heavy javelins. We are also super wounded. We're going to need to take some time to uh, heal up here. Anywho, I think this is it for the episode, friends. I'll think through the gear next turn, decide, or next uh, episode, decide who gets what and where and why. We may not even end up using these flat tops with males. I mean, 255 negative. It's a downgrade of 20 armor, but an increase of 7 fatigue. Is it worth it? Not until we get battle forged, and even then, is it, is it worth it then? Really hard to say. 250 for 23. Yeah, we lose 20, but we gain 5, 6, 7, 8. But Hobo already has 87, so... I don't know. I'll have to think it through and figure out who is the best candidate for these things. However, the noble conquest is complete. Once we're returning, eh, we'll heal up, go farm some stuff, get some heavy javelins. It's almost time to take on camps now, I'm feeling. We'll have full battle forged and full nimble in the entire squad in like one battle. And we can get that battle probably just killing this camp, which is going to be part of this noble mission. And there's probably something else roaming around out there or so. And then we can go after some barbarians, some camps, and all kinds of cool fun time things. But until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Oh, it hits the head. Now then, Gage! 82. Oh, he hit the head. Whoo! He hit the head again! <laughs> All right. Well then. I done wreck it and they be deads. Whoo! We are cruising.